you and me, we gotta talk. My videos are never to call anyone out or to hurt anybody's feelings. Um, and honestly, a lot of what I talk about um, are things that I have done myself before I was in my current situation. So I just want, I try to do my videos to help people understand what a patient feels like so we can all learn from it, so we can all learn how to better communicate. Because I feel like a lot of patients, they don't share their stories enough so people don't quite understand everything. The biggest complaint across the board from what I hear from all different kinds of patients, whether it's cancer or other illnesses, is the thing they hear the most that really hurts them is when people say, I knew somebody who had that and died. Keywords being knew, had, died. How would you feel if somebody said this to you? This can potentially send somebody down this horrible spiral of giving up, feeling suicidal, and it can ruin their day. And it can ruin their family's day or somebody that loves them that hears or sees this. So this is said in person as much as it is online. So just something to keep in mind, if somebody shares something about a disease on social media, say Facebook, usually the person that they're sharing it from is the patient or very close to the patient, or they may be close to the patient. And if you say something like this, the patient can probably see what you just said. And um, we just need to be more thoughtful about what we put out there. If somebody tells you that they have a disease or illness in person and you don't know what to say, you can say nothing. You can hug them. You can say, I'm here for you. You can say, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of you. Let me know if there's something I can do for you. You don't have to always fill the void. Sometimes silence really is the best. You don't have to fill that space with typing either. If it's online, you don't have to say anything. Um, but please just think about it before you say or post it. And if you're one of those people that just can't easily relate to what other people are feeling or if you aren't as empathetic as other people, how would you feel? Go to your wall and anything, whether it's good or bad. If you posted about something, how would you feel if somebody said, I know somebody who tried that, it didn't end well. Um, because that can relate to anything, pretty much. So I really just want people to take my words, take my advice, and keep people in mind and their feelings in mind before you put something out there because it can be really, really hurtful and really damaging. So that's it. I hope this helps you. Thanks. Bye.